Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Rohit. Today we will talk about that Agile task. So last few days we talked about that um, the waterfall task and from the waterfall task how we can create a change request and then once we complete the change request how the waterfall task can be automatically completed. So I would suggest if you have not watched my previous video go and watch this previous video because this is a complex process. From where we create demand, we can uh, we create idea, we create demand, we create the projects, we create the project task. These are the steps already we have done or we have discussed. Now today we'll talk about the agile project task and from the agile project task, how we can create a story, how we can create the epics, and then how the automatically agile task can be close, complete automatically. So those steps we will discuss. So I'll uh, request you everyone that if you like my video, if you like my content, please uh, like, share and subscribe and click on that um, notification button to get more information. So without wasting time, let's get started. So if I go back to here, um, so so these two tasks, these three tasks was completed and now we are in that, we are, we'll talk about the agile task. So I'll open the project task quickly. And in this project task, you can see there is one button called uh, redirect to top. So previous task, wherever we discussed that, that it was normal task, there was your options to, um, create change request but here we don't have any such options we have a redirect to top so whenever we click that it directly land to our project so now in this project if you scroll down you will be able to see one related link called agile planning tracking so that is the place where where we can plan the story we can create the epics we can create the story so i'll click here uh, agile tracking and it will be open that agile board <clears throat> so once we come here it's automatically create a backlog for you. What we'll do, we'll create some story here. So I'll click here, uh, you can create a story or else you can go and create a pics, you can create a theme. So maybe for example, uh, this is the backlog, this is the sprint and this is the sprint tracking uh, tab. So what we'll do, I'll go back to the backlog and create some story. Or else you can go back to your, um, um, this project workbench and you can see there is a three dot options and here you can click the VTB to see the VTB board. Okay, so once you click that, it will be a uh, refresh and show you the VTB board. So I have to click here and then uh, I'll click here and click again VTB. So this will show me all the, uh, I mean, from here directly I can keep on creating my um, story under this uh, development phase. Also, you can click the manage story button here. Once you click the manage story button, it will also redirect to that agile board and here you need to be create your own backlog for that. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll come here and you can, I can directly create some story here. I'll just go and create some story. Uh, let's say I'll create a story here directly so once I click new, I can see, you can see, I can create the story directly here. Okay. And you can see the project phase is the development phase. It means that the project should, project uh, task that will be connected with this, the development phase. I can select that. Similarly, I if I go back and click create story here. So project phase what project I have to select that is the um, the project phase is nothing but the project story that I have called development phase I have to select the development phase and let's create some story called form setup setup for incident okay so that is my first story might be I have created and I'll keep creating the story so this is the first story I have created Okay, I'll keep creating the story. So I'll create a story. Now go back to our actual, this is our project. Okay, if I refresh here, 
I I will be able to see two story and but this one doesn't have any phases. It means that if I go back to this project task uh, in this project development phase, I will be able to see only one story, not the two story. So you can see this is the only story that is set up. Set up because project project phase. I once I select that, that will be available. I'll open that. I'll set up the project phase here. All right. So our project, I mean our story is created. These two story are created. Similarly, in your VTB board, you can see uh, right now it is showing two um, these two story and these two story are unassigned right now. If I click here and if I manage story, it will again open the agile board. I mean the same type of agile board. Okay. From the backlog, from the backlog, these two story are created and these two story are inside now backlog. What I'll do, I have to create the screen and in the inside the screen, I have to assign this story. For that, what do we have to do? I have to go back to this here and type the agile and this is the agile development. You can see this is the complete uh, um, module. I have to click that agile groups here and then I have to create a agile group for that. So my, for example, I'm creating an agile group called uh, Java development. Okay. So this is the Java development. I am going to create that and submit. So basically this is a record producer and then uh, this record producer have a uh, role call. Uh, it's added called the scrum user and then um, role added. Now what I'll do, I'll add myself inside that um, um, groups. And save that. Once I save that, I'll refresh that and I should not be able to, I should be able to see the backlog. So right now, this lock button is uh, gone so i am able to see this i am able to see that um sprint planning board and then uh there is no current sprint is running so that's why there is it is locked right now so what i am i can do i'll create a sprint first so maybe uh sprint time is from yesterday to today or maybe 30 first and submit I'll stay first phase. So this is our uh, first sprint. Once our sprint is created, what I'll do, I'll click the start sprint. The sprint will be started right now. And this is our right now current sprint. So you can see this is the current sprint. And this is my backlog. All these backlog story story are sitting on the backlog. I have to assign them to the current sprint. So I'll click here and then assign to the current sprint. So whenever you create the story, the story can be created inside the backlog. Right now as the sprint is running, you can select the sprint here. Now notice that I am not able to select any story which is in uh, my sprint. Why? Because uh, this is assignment group is the HR assignment group. From where it is coming, the project task is assigned to the assignment group. So I'll change to that Java development group. So this is not letting me to change that. What I can go back to this um, I can go back to this project and open that project first. Inside that uh, assignment group I'll change that to Java development right now. 
and then inside that i have two story and it's automatically changed to the java development now i'll go and assign this two story to the java development that is phase i have created the first phase so i'll click here the sprint from there and click that this sprint update and this story also i'll plan to this sprint Okay, update. So my all the story is right now, uh, you can say that move to that current sprint and this is my current uh, sprint which is running on. Okay. Now what I can do, I will go back to this story and then I'll make keep on updating the story. So I maybe um, this is my story. Okay. And then uh, if you see here, this print percentage is right now um, zero. We can keep putting the point right now. But here you can see this percentage of the project task percentage is zero. And this project will be the increase at the project task uh, will be completed by completing of these two story. So what I can do here, um, even you can put the start screen and end screen inside that if you want. I have not put that. So I'll open one of the task first and complete that and let you see that how it works. Okay. I'll open this task called a form setup and then I'll mark that story is completed. Okay. I'll change that and then I'll maybe select the complete and here acceptance criteria is asking for mandatory. I'll select and save that. So this story, my first story is completed right now. Okay, this story is right now completed and if I go back, you can see this development project task is work in progress from pending to change to work in progress and percentage completed is 50% because this one of the story is completed. Now, what else you can do inside the story? I'll show you that. I'll quickly refresh this board. So this is your agile board. Even you can uh, you can go back to that um, BTB and you can see that if you refresh here, you can see that BTB board also. You can see the development is fifty percent right now. The cha it's change and it have the fifty percent. It means that one of the story is completed. You can see this is the story which is completed right now. And the second story, what we can do, I'll open that second story. This is the second story. So I'll talk about the story now. So what we can do or what else we can do in the story. So this story, uh, I am the developer and this story definitely completing of this story from set um, uh, to complete the ACL, create the ACL and complete the, for the incident, complete that this story. I definitely need a one thing called uh, I need to create some development star, task. I need to create some some um, maybe uh, some testing task. Okay, what we'll do? I'll put this story point is five point and then this I should be stayed as ready or maybe work in progress and then. Uh, let's first set the ready and then I'll put this is accepted criteria, um, criteria and save that first. So this is my story which is right now ready. Someone has to be walk that. So before to walk that, I can create some scrum task. What is the scrum, scrum task? The scrum task is the task by which actually you can I'll, I'll instead of that I'll go back to the backend mode I'll show you that there so you can see uh, <clears throat> right now it's showing the point so this is the story which is five point each story can have some points I'll open to the in the backend and I'll open this story right now 
inside the story uh, you can see um, we can create the scrum task so i'll click here and i'll click the scrum task here you can see one two three four four um, four option is there and then here you can select the number of count okay what does it mean by that so it, it means that to complete this story or maybe to create the ACL on the incident table what I need I need the analysis that where I need to be changed that if I need two tasks for the analysis I can keep on creating the task here I need the coding I need the documentation I need the testing for that everything I can create some task okay so what I'll do I'll need the two uh, coding one documentation task and one testing task and I'll click OK. So it will create some um, Scrum task for us. Okay. Now this story was created with the short description is to do do. And these are the type of the task. First is the analysis. These two are coding. One is the documentation task. Another is the testing task. So I'll open one of these analysis tasks first here. And maybe this analysis task in this group I am the only member what I'll do I'll select myself here and I will complete this task for me first I'll move this work in progress and then I'll complete this task so let's think about that my analysis is done I will save that similarly I'll complete or close all my tasks inside that um, a story so I'll go back to the story I'll close other, ta other um, task 2. I'll create another separate video for Agile 2.0 development. Till the time, it is the overview of the Agile development where you can create the story and then work on that. So once I completed this task, I'll go back to that actually project task. You can see the project task is previously 50%. Now it is 83% because the story is keep on progressing. And now once I close that last task inside this story, the story should be completed and then percentage should be 100%. Let's see. So inside this story, um, inside this story, the last task is, this is the last task. I'll close this task. So I'll complete this task. Once my task is completed, till now my story is in uh, ready, but if I go back, my project task is completed and this percentage is 100%. So inside the story, whatever was there, everything was done. Whatever scrum task was there, all the task is done. Although this is not happens because you out of box it is not working, you can complete this one. But once my these things is done, uh, my project task is increases and the project task is completed. So this project task is completed. Now if I go and see that um, they refresh my walkwinds I can see this comp the project task is completed this project is completed right now okay although this is right now in ready state I'll move these to uh, complete here so this is what might be one enhancement can be done in the service now Now let's see what happens to our uh, this um, this board. Okay, so agile board. I'll refresh that agile board, and you can see this all all the story is done. We can complete this sprint for the time being. I'll not go uh, um, uh, much details, but uh, in this agile board, but it it can be completed. Okay, the the first sprint is done. Okay. So now that way uh, your um, your development is completed. Now it's moved to the next uh, track called a testing phase. In this testing phase, you can keep uh, keep on creating this task, agile task, and complete that. I'll not do that. In the next video, we'll talk about that uh, time card and time sheet. Those are the very important topic. After that, um, you'll complete the project task and the all the project tasks, and we'll complete the project. So that's it for today. Uh, if you guys like my video, I would um, request you to please subscribe my channel and hit on the bell icon to get uh, these types of video. Thank you very much. Have a great day.